नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा Happy Holi to all those of you who are celebrating, and Happy Women's Day. There's a lot to celebrate and even more to work on. Tonight on the show, we bring you the latest twist in the Nord Stream saga. After blaming Russia and then America for blowing up the gas pipelines, Western reports now blame Ukraine. We'll bring you the latest findings. Also, a report on Chinese spies in space and what South Korea and Japan are doing to counter them. Plus, one more sex scandal in the Roman Catholic Church. This one casts a shadow on the record of. Pope John Paul II. So, frankly, we're losing count of the the number of cases of paedophilia in the church and the many, many cover-ups. In Georgia, the parliament saw utter chaos and protests spilled out onto the streets. We'll discuss why. Also, how the side hustle is becoming a big trend among the Gen Z. We'll discuss all of it. First up, the headlines. Russia has captured Bakhmut. That's the big claim made by Moscow's Wagner Group. It will be Russia's biggest win in six months. Zelensky said Bakhmut's capture would give Russia, quote unquote, an open road to move deeper into Ukraine. No end to violence in the West Bank. At least six Palestinians killed in Jenin in the latest raid by Israeli forces. The United Nations has raised alarm over the surge in violence. Pakistan bans all protests, rallies, and gatherings in Lahore for seven days, citing security threat. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan's party (PTI) had planned a rally in Lahore today. Dozens of people in the Philippines fall sick due to the oil spill from a sunken tanker which washed up on their shores. The Princess Empress was carrying 800,000 liters of industrial fuel oil when it sank more than a week ago. And China cracks down on its custom of costly bride prices as it tries to boost its flagging birth rate. Betrothal gift, or kaili, is a tradition where the groom-to-be pays a bride price to the woman's family. <laughs> 